because a lot of the credit is Steve Blackman uh, for muscular development. I mean, those guys have done an extraordinary job for years and years and years to promote health, to promote fitness, to mo promote strength, to promote bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting, and all of those kind of things. So the contributions they made is gigantic, and I hail them for that. Ron Harris here from MuscleDevelopment.com with our coverage of the Arnold Classic Weekend brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. I'm here with Harold King Kong Kelly, who just racked up another Arnold Classic win. This is Arnold Classic win number three, correct? Yeah. So the pro wheelchair division, uh, it's only been around since when, 2010? Yeah. He has won every single show except for two, yeah. and one he didn't win because he just wasn't there. So <laughs> you've only lost once as a pro. Right. Uh, I want to know where King Kong come from. That's a great nickname. Uh, well, you know, uh, King Kong came from, man, um, part my daughter, and part guys called me King Kong at the gym and whatnot. You know, my, my daughter came out with it. She, you know, started calling me that, and then we used it as a business name, and then a lot of guys from the gym called me Kong. So we adapted to King Kong Nation. Yeah. So were you bodybuilding before? It was, it was a car accident that happened with right, you? 2007. Were you bodybuilding before that, or yes, it, you were? were you, and you had competed as a bodybuilder prior to that? Mm -hmm. So... You know, as a bodybuilder, when that happened to you, did you immediately think, I'm not going to train anymore or I'm going to train harder than ever? Or, you know, what goes through your head? I know, right? Because we're so, we're so tied up in our bodies as yeah, bodybuilders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think, you know, I did bodybuilding because I loved doing it. I didn't do it to where I want to be the champion, this, that, and other. So I think that would, would have derailed someone. I'm never going to be that champion. I mean, I'm going to be, you know, I can't do nothing. Whereas my bodybuilding was because it's self-maintenance. I love doing it. I did since high school. I worked out. My dad taught me, you know, the, the essence of the body. Um, you know, me being a God-fearing person, person knowing that this is the temple of God. So I always worked out, you know, and I did some modeling. So um, from modeling, I went into the bodybuilding. And then from there, I was like, why not make the best of it? So that's what I did. So, you know, if you've been around as a pro for about eight years now, mm -hmm. you must be competing against guys who weren't even training or training at that level. And right. you probably inspired them to train. Right. And now they're trying to beat you. Right. But... You know, I imagine, I'm just going to take a wild guess, that you guys aren't uh, cutthroat to each other. You, you guys must have a pretty decent camaraderie because you obviously can only relate to each other on a level that other people could not. Right. You're 100% right about that, man. We're definitely a good camaraderie because that actually right now in the show, when we're trying to get to whoever going to go hang out, we're going to go uh, eat together. Um, Dallas show, when they come in, I told, at last Dallas show, I told everyone to come invite to my house so I can cook for everybody, you know, at a brunch at uh, a brunching. But, man, you know, it's, it's small and it's growing. And that's one thing about it. Com competition is competition. When we're on stage, we're battling. Outside of that, I can't control how you develop your body. Only that I control is how, how I develop my body. So why are we beefing? It don't, it don't make no sense. You know, you do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. And then on stage, we battle off the stage. We battle the way we need to be. You know, so I can't affect yours. You can't affect mine. So that's irrelevant, you know. So uh, we're a small group. So we look out for each other, ask questions. Hey, if I got an answer, I can tell you. If I get a little point, I can tell you outside of your coach telling, you know. Um, but, you know, whatever a person asks me, I'm going to give them my, my earnest opinion. Yeah. So, you know, are you contacted constantly by guys who are in wheelchairs or oh, had yeah. the accidents? Oh, yeah, we talk. We talk back and forth. You know, they mean like, well, how do you think? Or I may see a, a pick. On Instagram, I may hit him, hey, you looking good, uh, da, and he may hit me back, be like, oh, what's going on, champ? You know, I'm like, look, if anything else you need to know, just let me know. You know, I'm, I don't know everything. Uh, bodybuilding is infinite. And we can understand that. Bodybuilding is infinite. This is the only thing that constantly changes constantly. It's, it's the most complex thing on earth, and it takes so many different understandings of the body to get it right. You have George up here, you have his understanding, you have uh, Kimoto, you have his understanding, you have. Um, um, my guy with Phil, what's his name? Um, honey yeah, Honey. You, honey you, you got his understanding, the P7 workout, PS7 workout. You got, you got Charles Glass, which I love to death. I love that guy. You have so many different ways of working out, man, different understandings of the anatomy of the body. You know, which one apply to you? And that's what you need to understand, which one does apply to you. But in applying to you, you need to know you. So somebody just walks up and tell you what you need to do, 
you need to leave him alone because he don't even know what you're doing. He don't know your system. So why is he telling you something he don't even know? Yeah. So that's why I constantly preach that. My, I have a, we have a gym. Me and my wife have an H&A personal training studio in, in, uh, in, in Dallas, Texas, at Irvin, Texas. And I constantly tell that person, man, you, you got to understand your system. I need to know your system before I can tell you what I can tell you for you. And once I learn that, then we can talk. But if I don't know your system, I'm just giving you hogwash. Yeah. So, you know, one thing we would all be curious about, training-wise, what have you, how do you adapt to, what, what are some of the things that are, you didn't have to change about your training uh, as far as what you were able to do and, and how you had to position yourself in the gym mm -hmm. and what, had, what did you really have to figure out ways to, to make work? That's the biggest thing. The first thing, you know, is the mindset. You got to grab the good mindset to be like, look, God still have me here for a purpose, so let me carry out that purpose. If you, if, if you had an injury or something happened to you, if, if you wasn't supposed to be here, then you're supposed to be six feet, feet under. But if not, continue to do what you need to do. Find out where your goal is, find out where your path is, and continue down that path. It's not gonna be easy. No one path is easy. I don't care how glamorous they may look for that person, that person's struggling with something. You struggling with something uh, that's evident. They struggling with something that's not evident. Hmm. So, you know, and, and a lot of people so stuck on the evident struggle, and the person with the, the unevident struggle is, actually, I think that's the bigger struggle. Hmm. You know, my wife, you know, and she compete. You know, her, one of her, 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 uh, her hormonal level was a big struggle with her. But once we figured that out, then we was able to move forward. But if you stuck somewhere and you don't know why, it's because you need to figure something out. Get wheelchair, that's a physical deal. Blaze gets you from point A to point B. That's it. I can get from point A to point B. You know, everything else is under the sun. I'm good. We, we doing the exact same thing. Now, in the gym, you know, when you, when you on a different, piece of equipment or whatever, you gotta figure it out a little more in detail. But again, figure it out. Don't let that obstacle stop you. Get around that obstacle. That's all it is, an obstacle. You can still get through it, you know? So if you put it in your mindset, you'll never stop on what you're going towards, you know? Whether it be a physical, again, a mental or, or, or spiritual or, or, or internal. Don't let it stop you. Figure out how to, how to, how to, how to, how I can say, nip that in the butt and keep going where you need to go to. So it hits us all kind of ways. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm sure you hear it all the time, but the, the way you inspire regular able-bodied people, whatever, must be because we think we have problems. We think, oh, well, my calves won't grow, or you know, uh, my, my job doesn't let me eat seven meals a day all the time. Or, and then you know, we see someone like yourself who doesn't have the use of his lower body, yet you've managed to achieve this high, high level. Right. You know, you're the greatest pro bodybuilder in the wheelchair division in the history of the division, obviously. Currently. Currently, you know, someday <laughs> someone might come along and knock you off, who knows? Exactly. You know, we're all here for a limited time as the best. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, do you hear from as many able-bodied people that tell you you're an inspiration to them? I, I hear that constantly, you know, and I appreciate that and I respect that. And again, I always tell a person that's God work. You know, I may do what I want to do, but God is using me for a, for a purpose. And that is letting you know what's in you. We have that in every one of us. And I'm just an example of what you can achieve. And it's just not me. Trust me, it's not me. It's what example what you can do for you. So don't let the physical, most people, so many people are so... We're, we're fed by the appetite of the eye. You know, as human beings, we're fed by the appetite of the eye. So God gives you something that, I know what you're looking at, so let me give you something to look at. You need, a, you, you need to look at something, so let me give you something to look at, to give you an example. So here's the example. So use him as an example for you, because I have a lot of guys better. Man, how I thought about you this morning, man. I ain't gave nothing, man. I was laying in the bed, I was thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> and I got out of bed and I went to the gym. So, so let that be that, if it is that, you know. Initially, when I first started doing it, I didn't really, take hold to it as much, you know, because I'm like, I'm a country bro, bro. I, I've been on a dog all my life. So I, I, working hard is every day, it's the every day for me. You know, I never had it really easy. And still don't have it easy. But, but at the same time, I see, I see what I represent now. It, it makes more of sense now, and, and I'm using that to the point to where it's to help others out. You know, so I'm not, trying not to be uh, uh, selfish with it, but use it for that sense, like I said. So that a lot of guys need that little extra push, that little extra drive, that something to see. Oh, there's Harold, man. Harold doing it. I need to do it. So I, 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 I see that now. I see that now. I, one time I didn't really see it. It was just, just me doing my everyday. I think it, you should, everyone should do it, you know? But it's, everyone will have that. Someone need that a little bit, inspiration. So I, I, I take cold heartedly, you know, 100% responsibility to help others out when they need it. I'll talk to them about it. And I'll stop my workout. I'll be working out. I'm not that guy in the gym, man. I'm keeping my work at me, leave me alone. Never that, though. I'll stop my workout and talk to somebody. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll get mine in. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So you just won another big show. What is next for you? Is this it for the year or you got more shows coming no, we got out? Two more. We got the Canada show. Okay. Um, then we got the Dallas show, my hometown. So welcome to come out there, check it out. When y'all are in Dallas, come to H and A Press Training Studio in Irving, twelve twelve Beltline. If y'all want to check us out, you can check my product line, King Kong Nation. King Kong Nation. What's the website? King Kong Nation. KingKongNation.com. There it is. That's a great name for a website. Yeah, Instagram. Um, I invented a workout apparatus three years ago. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. It goes in your shoes, a workout apparatus, and they call it a five-star boot. And my wife had was an accident with me, and that's what made me make it. And it's a five points so on the girls doing leg kick, leg butt, um, butt kicks and whatnot. But guys use it too for their core. So I invented that four years ago and we re redoing it again. But that's our deal. And then custom legging. Most women that's under like five four eleven, five foot five one. The biggest issue when they get leggings, what? They are too long, right? They fit them. Well, these are by height. So I make them from five, four, nine to 5'5", five, five to fit your height. No one is doing that. So we have that at KingCarnation.com for you also. Yep. Well, congratulations. You're winning all these things, but you you well deserve these wins, man. You're great. You know, I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm picky. I'm very, very picky with physiques, but I'm impressed by you, you sir. Tell me something good I can work on. I, everybody tell me you look great and that's it. I'm like, no, I want to know what I need to work on. I don't, I don't need to know where I'm great at. I need to, know what, need to know what I work on. I can see what I need to work on, but what do yeah. you think I need to work on? A little, little, little more back thickness, a little more upper chest, and you're done. Awesome. Yeah. Done deal. Heard that, babe? That's what yeah. we're working on. Yeah. Back and upper chest. Uh, yeah, I mean, anybody, anybody ask me, I'll tell them. Yeah, this is what you need. You cool. Yeah, that's what I need. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. And uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Awesome. You're inspiring all of us. Thank you, brother. MusculDevelopment.com, the Arnold Classic Weekend. This has been Ron Harris with Harold Kelly.